for my last project, we're talking about the painting on the walls of Avaris in ancient Egypt. Uh, Avaris is the old name Tel El Daba'a, as uh, should be the most uh, recent name, I believe. And um, that's historical stuff, but I'm going to be talking about the painting that were that's supposed to be on the walls of uh, a palace in the, this ancient city on uh, port city in ancient Egypt. So. All right, some things I'm going to be talking about are the reasons for that I chose this artwork. Like why, what, what drew me to it for, for me, for, uh, I, I had a, a personal reason or personal motivation to talk about this because um, it appealed to the, my sense of history and other other things. So I'm going to talk, talk about that briefly. And I'm going to talk about Minoan palaces, like what they are, what they look like, these Minoan people, or what their art was like, which is the main focus, like Minoan art is my is the focus of this paper, but, um, and I'm, I'm picking up an artwork that was done thousands of miles away from the, their palaces, their famous palaces, and so I thought it, it would have an interesting, uh, I guess, to, uh, interesting side to it, so, so here we go. So this is the, the piece of uh, this is the artwork on the wall. Most of it was in rubbles, and uh, it's, it's it was reconstructed. And as as we can see, it's not completely crisp, but but crisp enough to be able to see features of. Uh, it, it looks like a bull leaping, and um, or bulls. There people as it like acrobats just flinging themselves and there's a background in the bottom and like red in the background and I'm going to talk a little bit about that and what it all means. So re reasons for choosing this art because um, I, I chose this because um, I always thought that all the ancient civilizations that we know of, the, the, the famous ones, the Greeks, the, uh, the Romans, Egyptians, uh, Byzantines. I, I always, I always picture them developing independently and at different times from each other, because I, I didn't really have all the dates right in my head. But um, after after studying uh, the Bronze Age in particular, I, I I started piecing something together that was really missing from my knowledge of art and art and uh, sorry history, art history. So. <clears throat> I'm beginning to see all these ancient civilizations being more interdependent than I thought, and I thought that was a very interesting angle to it. So enough of the history talk, let's uh, talk about these known people, I guess a little more, the uh, history of these known people. They lived in smaller settlements, mostly port cities, and they built these large palaces, and that's what they have been known for. They, uh, they developed their civilization at the at a, time when the Cycladic uh, culture, Cycladic peoples were uh, at the height of their own culture, so they had a lot of influences from those, from those Cycladic people, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, these uh, massive palaces that they built were uh, known to have these uh, uh, labyrinths uh, along, that were built along two corridors, and pardon me, I'm going to flip to this what it looks like, um, like uh, some of our reconstructions, what we think, and right over here, this, these are like two corridors that the whole building was made out of, and it's supposed to be um, just a massive labyrinth inside, and um, So that is that. That's how the palace would look inside the palace. There would be there'll be all these murals done by artists of the time, and these were quote were pretty unique to these palaces. So all these all this great most of the great work was done in palaces, and most of it was in this one particular palace in Nosos. So. <clears throat> But going back to my notes here, just want to stay on track with them. Um, so some characteristics of the, of the Minoan art that we found that we find in palaces are this this fresco, uh, this fresco mainly Buen fresco, 
pardon my spelling here, it's B-U-O-N, when fresco, it, it's the process of using water as a solvent in dry rub. And uh, so you mix the, the, the dry rub paint with water, and the, the main thing is having it on the um, on wet lime plaster before it dries. You, um, so it, it's ingrained in the wall and not just superficial. So that's, that's um, one a major characteristic of Minoan art, and so when we come here, this was done like that. So we know that that's oh, that these, this is Minoan. So very interesting characteristics about about how they made art. And the Egyptians usually used the the latter, the the um, I'm sorry, fresco seco. I haven't talked about that. It's it's like wet stuff on dry wall, so it's more superficial and can shave off. Um, so then they also used they, they also used fresco seco, but mainly like on the borders. I read about how some of the paintings had the fresco seco on the borders, and uh, they they used low reliefs to give a three dimensionality to it. And like they they use some compressions in different parts. Like for example, in in, in the, uh, the 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 maze part, this top maze part, all these lines done using strings and they just made these compressions and very very much like characteristics of, of characteristic of these Minoan people so the subject matter changed from abstract shapes and geometric design to a wider range of range of subject and different sizes as time goes on so they evolved like every every other culture. So most common were scenes from r rituals, processions, festivals, ceremonies, and bull sports. The outside was brought in on many occasions, so they had they, they actually were the first uh, landscape um, painters where they just painted monkeys, fish, dolphins, birds, and their natural habitat indoors. They had all these fields with flowers and some of the um, these some of these plants were roses, uh, crocuses, irises, ivies, uh, reeds, lilies. And they incorporated that into their designs. <clears throat> I already mentioned there are some of the first uh, landscape artists that we know. That animals were also portrayed in their natural habitat. And I'm going to flip over so we can see what I'm talking about real quick. Um, so we, we have these these dolphins just swimming around, these monkeys, this uh, morph of a chicken-like head with a cat-like body morphed together. Their um, artists are pretty out there, which is... Uh, uh, yeah, so the, 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 those are, these are some of the characteristics of the palace and you know, so it's the art that we find there. Um, and then on talk about the, the 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 male and female figures. The males were portrayed in red, females in white, and not much was not much else. Different shades there. Um, the gender is just the color. Their their hair is usually dark, long, and braided, thin waists, very muscular bodies. Both both male and female had that. And, um, to the, these to, to to the bottom right, these two. In particular, are famous uh, works, and they show a lot of the, the characteristics of Minoan art. They they have uh, this to, to the uh, bottom right. Bottom right is uh, they call it the Parisian. That's what they thought of at the time they found it because uh, she looked glamorous, and that's what they thought of the Parisian ladies at the time. So with the Parisian, this is the famous bull leaping. Bull leap, bull leaping was the sport at the time. And it's pretty unique to them. So. Um, going back to what we see here, we see it's mo mainly a scene of bull leapers. So where does this come from? From the Minoans. And you know, that's what they do. They leap bulls, both male and female. Although most of these look masculine. This is, these two are red and they look to sub be subduing the bull. Um, I have closer ups here of is actually the guy that actually found it and he came up with these sketches of what they're supposed to, to, to be. And um, we have this labyrinth here, sorry, labyrinth here and this pattern design here. And um, 
so the, uh, the, these these right here and, and I guess uh, the the top right they, they are fragments of other pieces of art that were found and they're very similar to, to, to have similar characteristics to um, you know on art we have we have things like uh, this what was the lily plant over here there's uh, this is ivy plant right here and this was to be a priest and um, it's different fragments of stuff that Minoans typically do and so um, so why we know it's Minoan this is the, a, a landscape it's supposed to be a river and um, yeah like, like I said they like to bring the outside inside what, what they see outside they, they want to live outside but they have big palaces so they're inside but outside at the same time pretty interesting this um so this is uh you know, painting in the walls of tell and the walls of a virus i can never pronounce the egyptian word but um yeah this is it thank you